This is the 2009 FME International User Conference opening session presented by SAFE co-founders Don Murray and Dale Lutz. So it's very wonderful to have you here. Yeah, we know many of you have come far and we really appreciate it and we're going to have a lot of fun over the next couple of days showing you what we've been up to at SAFE Software and learning a lot of stuff that you guys need us to do in the future. So, thank so you. we'll get started. Yeah. We're in Whistler. And um, this is what it would look like if you're here to ski. So if any of you want to come back again sometime, that's what it would be. But sometime tonight, where's Lackvier? We're headed up one of these things to, uh, to enjoy a nice evening together. Is that right, Lackvier? Somewhere? Yep. Ashley? Yep. Yes. Excellent. So we're going okay. up there. Now next year we hope to have a 3D rendering of this. Um, yep. But for now you'll have to do with that. Yep. But anyway, it should be good. Yeah, and remember, you're not allowed to base jump off the the uh, the peak to peak gondola. Okay, just want to tell <laughs> you all right. that. That's right. No base jumping. So for another thing, thank you all for coming. This is a map we threw together using FME and Google Earth, I think, and then ultimately making KML for Google Maps. Um, we have people from all corners of the Earth. No Africans, though. No, no um, nobody from Africa, and none from Antarctica either. Yeah, yeah. But, but I think I think we're going to have to do another. Uh, Site visit to Hawaii. There, we have yes. a, somebody from Hawaii. Where's there, our so Hawaiian? Where's our Hawaiian? Yeah, where's our Hawaiian? Yeah, yeah, there we go. You yeah. know what? I got a pair of safe socks for you. <laughs> <laughs> this is safe sock wear. Um, coming all the way from Hawaii to uh, to here is pretty good. I actually think our furthest attendee would be coming to us from Melbourne. So where's Mitch? There you go. There's Mitch. You can wear these on the flight back. <laughs> Whoops. Oh. You, <laughs> anyway. Those are, uh, I think, the only ones in Australia then, yeah. and Hawaii for that matter. Yeah. So just a few highlights. Um, there's 110 or so of you, which, uh, which we're very, very happy about. Yeah. Um, and there's quite a pile of safe staff around. So at any time in the next couple of days, don't be afraid to grab one of us and uh, ask us your questions. We're here, we're here to help and learn. Yeah. There's lots of hands-on workshops as well. So um, they're going to run in parallel with the tracks. Um, we have doctor's offices as well, so, so if you like a more formal setting to get your uh, translation diagnostic, then, then that's great. Um, and so um, find out the registration desk, I guess, if you don't know where any of this would be the place to go. That's right. And, um, and then at lunch we have birds of a feathers meeting, so the, the tables are organized by, by topic. So please uh, sit at the, at the table you're most interested in, or, or just you know, pick one if you want to learn something new. That's right. And um, this afternoon we're going to have... Uh, again, the third annual, or I guess not really quite annual, but the third ever FME Idol competition. It's a little bit yeah. different this year, and we'll get into some details there in a second. Yeah. Now, because we're trying to be young and hip, um, younger and hipper than I am anyway, but uh, you can follow us on Twitter. Uh, there's a Twitter back channel where you can be typing things, kind of mocking Don and I and so on, if you're yeah. able to multitask like that. That's right. Um, so uh, you can do that, and there's also an IRC channel as well. Yeah. So. I'm sure people are tuned in worldwide. That's right. Hanging That's on, right. Every, uh, That's right. on every post. That's right. That's right. Um, so we'll see. And if you're going to do that, you'd have to somehow have internet access. And there's a free Wi-Fi. There it is. Um, the password is FME Rocks with uh, CKS on the end, not X. Right. Okay. Unlike your license yeah. plate. Yeah. And please be gentle. No comments on my loss of hair. That's one thing that, you know. Anyway. On the back channel. On yeah, the back channel. You don't want to hear That's about right. that. And if you can't remember those two things, if you can't remember FME and FME Rocks, then you can go to the registration desk. Yeah. If there's so, one thing you should remember, it's the registration desk. I know I've been there at least three times already this morning when I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Now, we do need to warn you that uh, in our lead up to the exciting FME Idol contest today, there will be no free Wi-Fi down here, um, except so starting at 3.15, so you've got to get your Twittering done just, just ahead of that. That's right. Um, and then we're going to black out so that there's no cheating, I think, during FME Idol. Yeah, and also we don't want people downloading uh, movies over the, uh, the Wi-Fi while we're doing FME Idol. That's right. Um, there's a whole pile of different technical sessions today, uh, all over on the, I guess, two floors up. Yep, level two. So, uh, or one, I guess one floor up then. <laughs> yep. That would be. And you can, of course, check uh, all over your, your uh, program and stuff for details. And you have them on the back too. There's a nice little uh, handout thing on the back of your tag too. So uh, there's the technical hands-on sessions today as well, and I think you, some of you I know were signing up for those. You do have to sign up for those ahead of time. I think we're limited to, what, 30 or so 30, yeah. in each one. Yeah. Um, they run today and tomorrow, so you can see, uh, see what, you're, what you want. I know that the Maps for the Mass is kind of interesting because it's a survey of things like PDF and KML yeah. and so on. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, FME Server, stretching, always good to stretch the boundaries of FME. Yep, and then smoothing the GIS CAD road. That sounds good. That sounds good, Lots too. Lots of potholes. If there's one road that needs smoothing besides, that, that the, besides the one to on Whistler, the that's the um, one. Yeah. that'd be the one. So um, it's always nice putting up a distorted picture of Kevin. And so um, 
we've done that. We'll try to milk that for all we can this year. Yeah. Um, so where is Kevin? There he is. He's standing at the back there. So you can see the resemblance with the pitcher. He's, he's not wearing his doctor's uniform, but I'm sure he he'll suit up at 10 o'clock. That's so, right. So um, so anyway, the, you can go and where is? Do you know where this? Uh, where the doctors are? Where, where would you I, have to go? I would go to the registration desk to find out where it is. Okay, that's yeah. good. Yeah. As long as you can find that. Hey, and there's going to be an FME Ideas board. I didn't actually know about this till I saw this slide. Yeah. Um, and it's in the doctor's office. So once you find the doctor's office, then you can also put down your ideas. That's right. Yeah. And if you can't find that, then you can go to the registration yeah. desk and, yeah. Yeah. and find out yeah. where that is. Yeah. But we really do want to get information from you, things we can improve, things we can do better. Um, Things that you think are great are always nice too, but mostly we're here to learn from you. And this, yeah. we're trying to provide as many ways as possible for this to be an interactive dialogue over the next couple of days. Yeah. These are these tables that we've got set up. Today's, you can kind of figure out who you'd like to hang with. Um, uh, you know, I know in, in different conferences in years past, it always was told that the Intergraph was the partying crowd. So yeah. we'll see today you know, which lunch table uh, really parties it up the most. Um, but uh, take, take your pick. And, um, and if you don't like any of them, I think there's some tables where you can just eat by yourself. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So, you know, we so should it's have called a, the solitude table. We should actually have an FME table on, the, on this Look list. Look at that. We don't even have an FME table. Oh, well. Uh, I oh, guess. Well. Uh, we'll get Lockyer to put that in our ideas folder. Yes, for next year. <laughs> so uh, back here at 335, when the internet is blacked out, incidentally, mm -hmm. um, so that means nobody will be mocking Jeff Conan uh, in the back channel. And I don't know if that's quite fair, because I have a feeling he's going to be mocking us in a moment here. Yeah. But, that's right. Anyway, you'll, you'll be able to come for some lightning talks. And if the weather's anything like yesterday, there might really be lightning at the same time That's right. uh, outside. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, uh, I know Mark Ireland is really looking forward to going up that gondola in the middle of an electrical storm. It should be a lot of fun tonight. <laughs> so FME Idol is back. Yeah, it's different. We change it every year just to live a little bit on the edge. We're living pretty far, We're on, pretty the far on the edge this year. Yeah, so, so it, you know, we'll see how it goes. Um, but one thing's for sure is it will be a lot of fun. So, so and there's just great prizes. There's fabulous prizes. Yeah. So um, again, you have to find that registration desk to enter to be a contestant. Yeah. Uh, just drop your card off there. It's going to be done completely randomly. Um, where's Mark Ireland? There he, is. there he is. Mark, can you confirm FME server is actually going to be choosing the contestants? Yes, so um, yeah. live in front of a studio yeah. audience here, we'll be bringing up our contestants by having FME servers select them one at a time from the pool of applicants. Yeah. Um, there'll be, I think, is it eight contestants, Mark? Who, are they going to self-congeal into teams, or how are we going to do that? OK, but somehow they're going to get sorted into teams of two. So we'll have two. four teams of two, two. Yeah. who will be competing somewhat with one hand tied behind their back. But that's, that's right. You know, that's that's right. not to scare you off. Yeah. Um, and ultimately, publishing something to FME server live in front of everybody. Yeah. Yeah. And just because sometimes that might not be the most thrilling thing to watch the exact whole process, the journey is exciting. But sometimes it's not as exciting as it could be. At the same time, we're going to be playing FME Eperty. And FME okay, Eperty. So everybody in the, and again, we're doing this with FME server. So we've worked hard. One of the highlights of our 2010 release was enabling FME server to be used as for FME Eperty. <laughs> That's so, right. So we're thinking that next, uh, the next conference, we're going to have to have a making of FME Eperty, uh, because it is kind of interesting how, again, Mark has done a fantastic job, along with others at SAFE, to put together a framework for us to play the ga TV game show Jeopardy, um, only with an FME spin. And it'll all be done um, over FME server. What we need you to do ahead of that, if some of you have laptops with wireless, You'll want to come in here at around 4.15. You can have form a team of up to uh, six people Yeah, I'm on not a team. sure why. Oh, yeah, OK. Yeah, six is the maximum. But there can be an unlimited number of teams. So there's That's a lot of people in here. Yeah, I'll have to crowd around one laptop because we don't want you know, multiple answers from the same team at the same time. At the same so, time, because that would be a, there's probably a way to win that. That's win. right. So there will be some <laughs> fabulous prizes as well for the winning team um, yeah, there, yeah, too. Yeah. So that, that'll be pretty exciting. And I know that uh, uh, we've never tried anything with this many moving parts before. So we'll see how it all uh, hangs together. together. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And then tonight, we're going up the mountain, as we said. Now, the key thing is not to do what Don and I did last night. We were supposed to go to a restaurant named The Mountain Club for 6.30. And so we came downstairs here to the place that says The Mountain Club right here. Only um, it turns out there's actually two mountain clubs in Whistler. And you don't want that to happen to you. So today, you want to come to this lobby right here at 5.45. Is that right, Ashley? Yeah. Wherever she, yeah. And what happens if I'm late? 
Okay. <laughs> and, uh, and then you can sit by yourself there yeah. Uh, yeah. while everybody's up. Yeah. So 5.45 is kind of a hard deadline, isn't it? If I miss the gondola ride, I'm kind of I think. I think Ken Bragg is going to be leading a hiking trip up the trail. That's right. Uh, and you'll get there just in time for coffee after dinner. <laughs> That's right. So, uh, so anyway, it, it should be fun up there. Yeah. Um, I know we've got a uh, few uh, fun things planned as well as some good food. And yeah. could be in the middle of a thunderstorm or it could yeah. be sun yeah. shining. That's yeah. always yeah. Uh, exciting yeah. here in Whistler. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a rumor we're going to zip line down. Is that true? <laughs> I think the winners think of FME Idol are. Yeah, that's right. The winners of FME Idol are going to zip line down. Okay. And I was kind of, uh, did you know about this stall? I did not know about that until yeah, we, we should go check with the registration desk that's about right, this. That's right. That's um, right. So, um, yeah, anyway. so, so, so throughout the conference, you know, ask anything you want. And Dale and I are going to, um, re we'll read over those and we'll try to answer as many as we can during the closing session. Um, after the conference is over, of course, if for any reason you want to contact Dale and myself, um, just feel free to do so, okay? We have great support, but, but sometimes you just need to, uh, to uh, okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. And if there's Craig, one. Craig's always worried about me, and he has good reason to. Yeah. And Craig's actually worried about people seeing faces too. Craig's probably yeah. the best looking guy at safe. He is, he and is. If you so, had a face like Craig, you wouldn't want to stand yeah, in front of that yeah. light either. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, yeah, so. Good. Thanks, Craig, okay. So anyway, if you're um, young and hip enough to figure out how to tweet us, uh, then please do that, and somebody young and hip will relay that to old guys like Don. Actually, Don's young and hip. He's on Twitter. I, I like to think I'm young and, young and hip, but I keep going gray, and my hair keeps falling out. More gray hair all the time, but I think it's Ken Bragg said to me, don't worry, one day you'll have less, less gray hair. So I'm not sure what that's about. But. Yes. Or you can do the old-fashioned way, which I understand, which is an email, and uh, people are monitoring that as well. We'll yep. collate all those by the 4th. Uh, by the end of, not the fourth day, feels like four days, but it'll only be the second day. That's right. And we'll, uh, we'll address them then. Yeah. And Lackvier says she's going to have everything online a week from today at that, uh, at that URL. And uh, we're actually going to be recording all these sessions on video so you can play them back over and over again. Yeah. Uh, and, but more importantly, catch the ones that you missed that you really wanted to see. So we are making an attempt to, to do that for you as well. Yeah, good. And throughout this conference, um, really what it's about for us is to show you what we're doing, but more importantly to us is to really learn what we can do better you know, as we grow, what are the things we need to improve on, what are the things that you really need with, it, with our technology and our company to ensure that we, that we continue to meet your needs and meet them better. Um, you'll find the safe staff are incredibly enthusiastic. Um, let's face it, who else makes a rock video about data translation? I challenge you to find anybody else. <laughs> Um, and so we really love what we do, and um, we think we're just the, the best part of the whole industry. So anyway. So, yes. Yeah, and we drink our own Kool-Aid, too. That's right. Okay. So in terms of what we're here doing, we're coming together in Whistler. In case any of you missed it, this is where the 2010 Olympics will be held. That's right. Which is why there's been all this infrastructure money spent on things like that new highway yeah. and other things. And we're really happy to, to be here. Um, it's been quite a logistical challenge, actually, for our team to pull this off. And uh, I hope that we all enjoy. I'm already enjoying the mountain air, and uh, it should be good. So why are we here? Um, the first thing is to share. So share ideas, share successes, share frustrations, to share um, your experiences with FME, things you'd like to do, and just get to know each other. So really, um, I don't recommend you share ice cream cones like that. But, um, but, but, you know, but if you do, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> At least with who you're sharing with. Yeah. Um, so we're also here to learn. I mean, my, my own natural uh, tendency is always to want to turn every FME gathering into an educational yeah. kind of event. And, and in, in a way, this is as well. You'll be learning what other people have done with the product. It's just amazing. When I looked over the, the presentation list, I was always, yeah, uh, yeah. this time again, amazed yeah. with the kind of things people have done. We always are surprised and amazed what people do with, with FME. Yeah, so, 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 so we want to learn how to be better um, and what we need to do next and what is needed. Because um, we just build the tool. And um, you guys are the masters with the tool doing all the great stuff. So, so it's very exciting for us to, to learn what, what's possible with FME. Um, to connect with each other with the safe staff, we've got a lot of staff down here. Uh, take advantage of that to get to know them. Um, that way, when you have your next XML problem, I'm sure it'll be solved just like that. Uh, <laughs> but get to know each other, uh, find out what other people are doing. It's a great, great opportunity to connect. Yeah, yeah. And last but not least, of course, is having fun. If we're not having fun, then why are we here? Um, we always like to have fun, and we've tried to really set up a real fun environment. Whistler, it's fun to be at Whistler. We're going to have fun tonight. We're going to have fun with FME Apperty. Yeah. And so, um, 
So we hope you have as much fun as we're going to have here. And I don't know, Ulf, do you have any FME art for us? We're hoping. We're Put Ulf. that on there as a little teaser. Uh, if we have to... I'm very inspired by your Swedish marketing music in the beginning. Oh, okay, so, well, so see, that's a good sign. And also, if you notice how we're pronouncing it, FME Jeopardy, it's supposed to be sounding like Swedish. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even notice it, see? Yeah, FME Jeopardy. Yeah. FME, okay. <laughs> So, um, let's move on to just give you a little update about where we're at with Safe Software. Yep. So we're about 95, so we're probably that's what we were last year. We've, um, we've hired more um, per permanent staff, but we've reduced the number of, of co-op students. And so that's sort of um, what we've done over the last year. Yes. Um, we have a pretty wide range of resellers across a lot of countries. So that continues to grow and we're yeah. very excited. There's actually many of you here today are in one way or another uh, involved in our reseller channel and we're really thankful that you're here and we're thankful for the work you do representing us all over the world. Yeah. Um, the, the, the FME certification program has been a huge success. Um, we're very happy with it. Um, there's more, there's a, there's a backlog, we apologize for that. We're working as fast as we can to get through that. It's and a bit like the Canadian medical system, actually. Yeah, or, or what getting a passport used to be like. Yes. Yeah, exactly. But, but we are working on that to yeah. clear that out, and, and we are um, very happy to have so many people that see the value in being FME certified. Yeah. And the number of users across the globe continues to grow. So, so every, every quarter we have more and more users. Um, the percentage of people who are paying their AMC continues to increase. So we're, we're, we're pretty happy about that. Um, lots more FME users out there all the time. And we've continued to have partnerships with more and more and different kinds of companies. And this is just a small list of the various companies we do work with. Many of them have been on there for many, many years. Folks like Autodesk have been there since uh, probably 1999. Yeah. And then other ones that are fairly new to us, like Natiza. Yeah, um, yeah. Natiza that builds a spatial data Warehouse, and they've added uh, spatial. They build a data warehouse, and they've added spatial capabilities to that. So you'll be hearing more about that for 2010. Yeah. And Wheel Geo, um, you'll see a talk today about. Uh, I believe it's today. Is it today, Paul? Yes, yeah. today. There's Paul. Yeah. Uh, talking about moving FME into the cloud. I think James C is going to touch on that as well. Perhaps yes. And Microsoft on there. There's just a lot of folks that we uh, we continue to have good relationships with to support their various systems and their various data formats. So what's FME all about? It's really about breaking down data silos. So you can see some data silos there. Um, that's really what we're finding more and more. People have data scattered all over the place. They need to bring it together, combine it. And that's really what uh, FME is all about in Safe Software. That's where we focus our efforts. So we can bring data into applications, smashing through the wall that might be the barrier there. Yeah. Yeah. But we also bring data to data. So we can also take some data, transform it, integrate it, and then just produce data. So we just don't take data to applications. We move data to you know, change the format, other data systems. We bring data from applications into files. So we'll be able to export things out of applications, hitting things that are live and bringing it to data. Yeah. And also, of course, applications to applications. Okay, the reason we have this, these slides is just to really stress that what we really do is build pipe to move data. It doesn't matter whether the end, the end point is a database, a file, or an application. More and more, we're just the glue that um, brings the data, glues the data um, together. So glues these applications to, together. So no matter what you want to use, no matter where the data is coming from, an application or a file, you can get access to it. So we kind of think that it's safe. Uh, we've learned a lot. You know, I never actually ran a restaurant, but I did do a, I did do a sausage on a bun stand one time. And uh, wow. you, uh, you learned. I didn't know that. Do, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, right. I'm revealing it here for the first time. Uh, that was my entrepreneurial start, yeah. sausage on a bun. If you're going to do sausage <laughs> on a bun, you've got to have two things. You've got to have good sausage, really. Yeah. And you've got to have good service, yeah. because yeah. people aren't going to come back for their sausage yeah. Yeah. If, uh, if you don't treat them well, or yeah. if you make them wait yeah. too long. Yeah. And you know, when we started out in 1993, really, we only had good service. Um, <laughs> Uh, you and I were, uh, you and I were, uh, of course, delusional about the product, and so we thought we had a great product. And I think our enthusiasm, just and service, yeah. got uh, got everybody on board, thinking there must be something there. Those two crazy <laughs> Canadians are really excited about it. But, but yeah. now, now I'm, you know, I'm pretty proud of the product. But we still have to focus on service. That's really the, the differentiator. So we, we view that as a, a core guiding principle. It's safe, and it's a hard thing to pull off. Um, yeah. But we we continue to strive to do that. So along that line, we want to know from you, and we've said it already, uh, what's your feedback? What are your suggestions? So many of the 
capabilities in FME, so, so many have come as a result of direct customer requests. Sometimes we, of course, analyze and see what customers are up to, and we're able to anticipate and get ahead yeah. and build things, but a large part of FME comes from the daily back and forth of us to, to you. Yeah, yeah. So let us know what we're doing that we should be doing so we don't stop doing it, but also um, let us know, you know things that we could do better or what we need to do in the future for both the product and this, our service. So this is what we are constantly afraid of. This is what we don't want. We don't want one third of our users last year contacted us. We really don't want this to happen. And it says basically, if we don't take care of the customers, maybe they'll stop bugging us. Okay, that's uh, the exact opposite of what we really want. We wanted. We last year we have a third of our customers go call and support. We'd like to get that number higher every year, um, so we can really be in tune with what our customers need. I'm sure that Mark Stokes agrees. <laughs> So in terms of uh, what, what do we uh, do at SAFE, how do we decide what to do next, there's really three aspects to it. Yeah, the first one is the user community, as Dale just mentioned. Um, in the last shipped product, for example, FME 2009, there was 430 user requested features. Of course, some of those features were asked for by, by many, many users, and we track for each feature. We know exactly how many users have requested that feature, and um, that's the number one thing that really we look at when we go into a new release. We also look at strategic things, and I know um, another large privately held GIS company where um, some of the staff say that when the owner says something is strategic, that's code for it won't make money. Yeah. Um, but sometimes our staff has to kind of in, indulge Don and I as we, we read the tea leaves and we think some certain things are strategic that we want to go after. And I know when we started into the whole 3D side of things, what now, almost two years ago? Yeah, I'd say over two, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, that, that would have been classified as strategic then because it wasn't really a direct customer need. However, having built it in much the same way as Field of Dreams, if you build it, they will come. It does seem that there is a demand, as we had foresaw, for yeah. some of the 3D. Now, we've also done some strategic, strategic things that have not panned out, but you've got to be trying things in order to hit the winners. Yeah, yeah that's right. And, and the fact we build the pipe helps us immensely, because if, 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 if we, the large vendors are building in, new applications that need data, a particular type of data, then as the pipe vendor, we need to get, make sure that they can actually get the data um, easily. And then, of course, sometimes things come out of nowhere and just whack us, and yeah. we uh, have to figure out how to turn them around quickly. And Natiza was kind of yeah, like that. Yeah, we didn't yeah. anticipate that. That just came out of nowhere, and, uh, and so there's a new opportunity. And so we do our best to try to seize these. One of the things that we try very hard to do as a company is be agile. And, um, and you know, I know that it's, it's actually hard. And I'm looking over at my development team leaders. It's a bit hard to be a dev team leader at SAFE because we do turn on a dime sometimes. And the best laid plans sometimes have to be uh, pushed, pushed aside. Yeah. And, uh, and, we've, and you know, I appreciate their, uh, their patience dealing with that. But it's, I think, part of who we are. And I think we're getting better at doing that in a bit more controlled chaos kind of way. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so, uh, so that's something that, that we work hard at. So, 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 so what else is our, our strategy there? We want the next release, we want every release of FME to be irresistible to all our customers. So we really work hard to make sure that there's reason for every single customer who has FME to want to get the next version. Okay, we're not satisfied with any version. We, we, we often say that, you know, the next release of FME is going to be so much better than the best release ever. And we often joke, you know, geez, how bad the previous release was because we're all excited about uh, the release coming up. And you're going to see some of that excitement um, today and tomorrow when we really get into demoing some of this new FME uh, technology. That's right. We're, just to kind of make it clear, we're, we're not going to do any demos today. I know that's what you came here to see, but you've got to come back tomorrow morning, and that's when Don's going to go nuts with, uh, with a wide range of demos. Yeah. We do always, we, we, it's kind of a sad thing, actually, that so many people out in the industry think of us only as the format guys. And I put this slide up here, or Don and I do, with a minor bit of trepidation because uh, this will further the idea that, oh, Safe just does formats. Because I claim that the most important thing we do is the transformation side of things. Yeah, yeah. However, if you're going to do transformations, you do have to bring stuff from somewhere to somewhere else. Yeah. Um, but we're, we're only part of the journey. We're not really the destination. Yeah. Or um, the source. Or the source. Yeah. So as a result, we're always adding more data support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's not enough just to get the data to the application. You have to get it so they can immediately use it. Okay. And as well, uh, we have to add more transformers to take advantage of the new capabilities in FME. Sometimes customers come to us with interesting projects, and we have some very interesting ones that are going to be talked about 
later, I think tomorrow Danielle Pilon will be talking about yeah. some that we've done recently, yeah. um, and I'll yeah. talk about them later. But in particular, Don's excited about the new, um, I think it's the Vaderer. Yeah, the Vaderer. It, it goes from Darth Vader into the Death Star. So I don't know, that, that's probably the best Transformer I've ever seen. I still keep waiting for the development team to, re, to, to deliver the hair replacer, but uh, we have a face replacer, but I'm more worried about the, the hair replacer, but it hasn't happened yet. Well, we'll get they, that. They, they just keep saying they put it in their folders. But anyway. I think that's a strategic thing, actually. I think it is strategic. Yeah, it's certainly strategic for me. Yeah. Um, more platforms. So there you go. So you got the goldfish. Um, He's jumping the shark. He's, he's basically jumping out of the windows one into another one so, we, he, so he can live in both platforms. So. So our, our strategy really is to be agnostic. It doesn't matter whether it's database, it doesn't matter whether it's OS, it doesn't matter whether it's web server or whatever. We want to be able to run on whatever platform our users want to run on. And so Dale just has, um, what are you showing there, Dale? I'm just taking a look at this data inspector that's running on my Mac natively. Oh, you have a native, oh wow, look at that. Yeah, somehow, let's see, I can open a data set even. I'm a little scared to try it uh, too yeah, much. Yeah, look at that! Yeah. Look at that fancy effect. Those Mac guys spend all their times in these real fancy effects. That's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. So it actually look at. Whoop, so let's quickly change. Yeah, quickly change. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I guess Graham, you got a bit more work to do. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Should we report that? Yeah. Yeah. Report. <laughs> re report that. Yeah. Okay. Well. Okay. Anyway, we still have a bit of work to do there. <laughs> but you can see where we're going. We we have the FME engine running on many different platforms. Um, the visualizer is now being going to be replaced with an all brand new one called the data inspector and over time we want all the tools to run on any platform that uh, becomes popular See, out there. The one true interface there I know is the works line. right. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. If yeah. you really want, like Peter and I, if you want to get anything done this is where you go, right Peter? Uh, yeah. This fancy yeah. gooey stuff yeah. is overrated. If you're a Python guy, you can even type FME space Python and you're right into a Python interpreter. That's right. So there's the first thing. I bet you meant no many people know about that. That's right. I didn't know about that until I tried it. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Um, usability. Really what is usability about is about you, the user. Um, and that's uh, many of the past releases, we've just done a very small thing. Um, we added the quick connect on Workbench. You know, a very small thing, but makes a huge difference. So if you have any ideas, um, it's quite often the small thing that makes a difference with software. So yeah, we're adding all these new capabilities, you know. We spend nine and, months and on GML 3.2. Yeah, <laughs> that's right, but if you don't care about GML 3.2, you don't care about all these new transformers, what are we going to give to you to make um, your experience better? And that's to improve your, your, uh, the usability, your productivity with the tool. So, so that's what it's all about. So if you have ideas, many of the ideas came from users, and some users submitted some. And um, there's a fantastic thing, like there's one in the viewer, for example. Yes. Hey, wouldn't it, why don't you just show the number of features in each level in the viewer when you open it up? And we're like, wow, what a great idea. I think, you know, Dr. Plutner, at last year's uh, user conference, I remember discussing with you, and we had done all this fancy stuff with 3D, which I think is not that useful to you. And you made a comment that don't forget about the people trying to do cartography and so on. And I think of that comment yeah. often, and it's, it's played a role in making sure that, yes, these new things are exciting, and we'll show lots of exciting things tomorrow particularly, but at the same time, we're thinking of Dr. Plutner and all the others of you that need to just use FME on a daily basis, doing more traditional things, the most important things for your organization. We need to make sure that we're making it work faster for you, yep. making your tasks easier. So, so thank you very much for that kind of feedback. Yeah. Speed. So performance is something that everybody cares about. So and, and actually, that's a picture of Ryan Pru uh, after we told him that he had to make FME 2010 faster than 2009 was. Yeah, uh, yeah. Because it's, it, you know, each year it gets harder and harder uh, to do that, short of asking you to upgrade your computers. Yeah. Um, and, 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 and this release, we've extended that to make Workbench open faster. And I think so, that might, is that Harbinder's so, face? Yeah, uh, when he yeah, told yeah that. that's right. So, so not only are we going to make the FME engine faster with every release, we, we're working hard to make FME Workbench open faster if you're working with large workspaces. So I, I know for some of you working with huge workspaces, you probably start Workbench, go get a cup of coffee, you know, go talk to the person down the hall, come back, and then um, it might be open. So we're working hard to make that much, much faster. I think it's, is it Jeff that had the 7,000 Transformer special? Um, so, uh, so we keep you in mind as well yeah. uh, often yeah. as we uh, look at things. So just a, a bit of review. This slide I dug out from our first ever user conference. It's got a great here. use of color. Good, good color. I'm sure it's off-brand. Is that right? Where's Lacvir? These are not the safe colors. I'm probably going to get in trouble afterwards. But it did come from marketing three years ago. Yeah. Um, yeah. So anyway, we want to just point out that we've got the FME platform down here that 
Any improvements we make there, that's the core of all the grinding that is FME. Yeah. And so when, when we're grinding on that and making it faster, extending its capabilities, that ends up helping us out on the desktop side where probably most of you live, as well as over on the server side where those desktop things can be deployed and used. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Good. So, so what are some of the things we're doing with FME? Well, there's, again, never, short, never a shortage of formats. This is a graph by release, not quite by time. Yeah. Um, th so there's a big jump in here. That more means that we took a long time to get that yeah. release out. You'll notice there was no FME 2001. It was sort of the, the lost year, really. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but anyway, it continues to climb there. Yeah. And this is the formats that we ship. There's another 40 formats that are done by third parties. That I mean, If you go to our website and you look up third party formats, they're not in this graph. These are the ones that we actually ship ourselves, so there's well over 270 formats. So, so uh, in terms of things that we've added right now in the so-called 2010, UC let's see, beta, cut. UC cut, there's a, that, we should also spend a moment talking about that. We did make a special beta for the user conference, which is more tested than most of our betas. Um, and, and for the last couple of, I don't know, weeks or maybe even a month, uh, there's been some dialing back on checking in of risky changes. So I, I don't know, if you like to use FME betas, then this is certainly a great one to use. Yeah. Uh, if you really want to, you don't like betas in production, I still wouldn't use this no, one in production. No, it's still a beta. It's yeah, still a beta, it still but it's a little time. bit yeah, um, yeah. sharper. I know that they used it yesterday for the workshops. In fact, I think they're using it probably in the next, uh, yeah. like yeah. the workshops that are here. Yeah. But nonetheless, it's available if you go to safe.com slash beta, they'll talk about the UC cut. And yeah. so it's just a snapshot in time. But these are some of the formats that are in there. I think Civil 3D might not. It might have been one that isn't in the UC cut, but it's going to be out right away. So those of you that care about Autodesk Civil 3D, we can read that, um, and where we will very, very shortly. Um, SketchUp. Yeah, that's a 3D format, so we're, we're excited to be able to read that. So there's fantastic libraries from Google with many SketchUp models. You can now just read those and put them whatever system you want. There's one you can talk. If you're interested in SketchUp, uh, flag out uh, read over at the doctor's. I bet the registration desk would know that he's in doctor's office. And they'd even know it was ours. Right. Yeah. So, um, but Reed is here, the author of the SketchUp uh, plugin. GML 3.2, um, we, we have that in, yeah. the, in the UC cut. Yeah, and Juan's here, so if you have any GML questions, Juan is the guy to talk to, it's safe. And so that lets us read things like JPGIS in Japan, and also the latest NAS from 6 Germany. 6.1, I think it is. Yeah. So um, we're able to, to do that. The bag format, I just love that name. It's a great format. We have it in the bag, you could <laughs> that's, say. That's right. that's right. There's just no end of jokes to make over that. And also, yeah. uh, I'm sure we could actually have yeah. some interesting graphics yeah. for it, too. Yeah. But um, for those that don't know it's or care, yeah, it, it, it's a bathymetry format. So there you go. Big, that might be a good, hey, Mark, that'd be a good FME Jeopardy question uh, for later on. Please yeah. please say what the bag format is in Latin. Okay, and um, ArcGIS for AutoCAD, that's another way of storing attributes in AutoCAD, and we can fully support that as well if you're using the Esri ArcGIS for AutoCAD plugin. Okay. So there's more transformations. Yep, there's tons of more transformations that, that, that we've added to FME, and we continue to do so. So we've got things that can, these are largely about generalization. So um, we'll, be, uh, we'll be wanting to, uh, yep. we'll be wanting to show you some of those throughout their stroller order and so on. And I know that Danielle Pilon is talking about this tomorrow. So if you check out his session, he'll talk in detail if you're interested in generalization. Okay. And so, yep. so we're gonna go quickly through this, these slides. So we also have some M MRF overlay to improve that. So you can go from that to that. So that's an extra cost item for those that want to do higher end overlays. MRF is a company we work with in Calgary. Um, we're we're doing from, lots of work. We're going from 32 bits to 64. Yeah. Sorry, Don. That's okay. Both of us couldn't fit in the suit at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we, have, we do have a build of FME on 64 bits for Windows. Um, yeah. It is getting more and more mature, the installers there. Go to the registration desk yep. if you'd like to try that out. Yep. Um, we actually, seriously, we are looking for people to try out the 64-bit FME. Yeah, we've also added, here's a, the security model of FME server as is ships in 2009. It's called the trusting model. The door's wide open. The door's wide open. You can go in any time, take whatever you want. Just don't take what's not yours. <laughs> that's, that's how the security works today. Um, but we're we really, We've really bolted it down, and all day tomorrow when we're demoing, I'll be running a secure server, so you'll see the difference. So that's one of the key things in the FME server side. Um, in general, uh, we're also seeing a trend from the desktop into the cloud, and uh, you'll see talk today from Rio Geo on that and, and other people that are starting to run FME in that way. Yeah. 
Um, we're going from fixed formats. Before, when you're using FME, you had to know exactly what format you're coming from. Let's say you're coming from Marlboro and you wanted to go to Dr. Pepper, you'd have to actually wire that in. You have to know in. that, that's right. And so instead, we're going to the generic way of thinking, uh, a no-name brand kind of way of using FME. And if that's a little too abstract, here's what we really mean. Um, you'll be able to make workspaces that don't know what format they started in and don't know what format they're going to end in. And they don't even know what schema they, they have. Really, they don't know nothing. So we'll be dead. They don't know nothing. So, so if you have a workspace, your boss tells you to make a workspace, he doesn't know where he's going, where he's coming from, doesn't know what he's, what he's what doing. Kind of, then you can make him a workspace, deliver it, and say, there you go. You can go anywhere to anywhere. Just so so there are a lot. It opens up a whole new set of problems that FME can solve. And in particular, one variant of this is thinking about fixed schema workspaces, the way we're used to using Workbench, where you have all your tables listed there and all your attributes listed there on both right and left side. Yeah. And you often use a pattern. This is a best practices thing. Pull them all together, do your work, fan them back out. What are some of the problems, Don? Well, if you have a new data type, you've got to go in and edit your workspace again, because it only knows about six different uh, So if you start types getting there, so. streams or something. Yeah, your schema changes, oh, it's just there's, ugly. There's a new attribute on rivers, you, you're, you have a problem. Yeah. So what are we doing instead? We're using something we call dynamic workspaces. This accomplishes the identical result, but doesn't know anything about the starting schema or the ending schema. And yet, when it's done, you get all the data copied across uh, exactly as it would be if you had known it, except it adjusts itself at runtime. I just can't imagine what users will be able to do with this by publishing this to server. Yes. So we've gone from having geometries that don't know their names to geometries that know their names. Now, what does that mean? It sets up the infrastructure so we can support features with multiple geometries. Now, not a lot of GISs do this, uh, but the spatial databases like Oracle and Microsoft, SQL yep. Server, Spatial, those are two of the key ones. And G GML. 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 Yep. And of course, Small World. We're setting up so that we can handle that right within the core of FME. These are, again, advanced geometric things. We can do measures and all kinds of things. The geometry model is very, very powerful. Yep. Um, from 2D, so in the past, this is I'm looking at something. What is that, Dale, but from 2D? You know, I, I'd like to ask uh, Reed, can you tell us what that is? <laughs> he, That's, I'll that's give you a half very marks. Good, that's a very good question, yeah, okay. It, it's the Eiffel Tower, actually. And so that's what it looks like in the existing viewer. <laughs> and so, see, one of the things we learned is if you're going to do 3D, it's a little hard to inspect it in 2D. And so this is the same thing in the, in the new viewer, so um, in the data inspector. So we're able to inspect that data fully um, with its textures even. Yeah. And so 3D with te without textures, we were very excited. Um, you, you, tomorrow you'll probably see the old Dutch treat, and then you'll see the new, um, what, what, is it, if this is a Swedish treat? Yes. Yes, the new Swedish treat, and um, you'll see the difference. But we are very excited about this one here, and so, then along came. Yeah, so this is a 3D model, the way that we had been working with it, and there it is again, the same model with the textures. And I know which one I'd prefer. Yeah. Um, and actually, it's like I say, it's like pie without ice cream, and if Ashley is there, actually tomorrow we get a chance to find out what pie is like with or without ice cream, is that right? Yeah, so you can, you can te do a test yourself tomorrow at lunch to decide if you want textures or not, or pie with ice cream or not. But uh, we think that the textures are pretty important. Yeah. And um, so here's some of the ingredients. That we can take this sort of stuff and turn it into... Oh, you've got to come back tomorrow. We'll have to see tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll have a special screening of Top Secret. That's so right. So you can see that tomorrow. That's right. So in general, what we're trying to do with FME is find ways to bring the world together, all these different data types, all these different technologies, all these different techniques, yep. bringing them all together. Yep. One data type at a time. So in the early days, we did CAD and GIS. Our goal is to be able to move any kind of spatial data, any kind of data that has spatial anything, anywhere you need it. So, so keep letting us know what you need next. And you guess you can see some sort of a, one of them where, where we sort of do, the LiDAR one, but that, that we'll actually more is, of that in the, in the future. That's a visualization in the new data inspector of a small LiDAR data set. Um, we, are, don't, we wouldn't say that we're proud of our LiDAR support yet. Nope. Um, we know we've got another round to do, but that is another data type yep. that yep. we will attack. Yep. And there will be another release. Yep. Okay. So in conclusion, what we think is that with FME, uh, really we, we are getting to a point where the FME platform is out, outrageously powerful. And, uh, and it's just amazing what, what you do with it today and what you're going to be doing with it in the weeks and months ahead. And we're very, very excited. We're happy to have you here to enjoy this time with us and learn some more things. Yeah, and um, so thanks for all coming. And with this, we'll move on to, to our keynote.